Another shot video, some beautiful scenery from up here, that's why I love this walk. It's a bit windy when I turn that way. But look at it. I'm going across the fields. Someone's heeded and they've put in the fence in. I'm glad they have. They, they've got to really because people are getting killed and trampled. There's more people out. I've got to find a way to get over yet without being um, done. I haven't got me stick. If I had my stick, I'd lean my stick on there. I'll do it further up. Oh, I'll just leave me bag on it. Just leave me bag on it. I might not have to if uh, I can get to the stile without having to get over there. But I would have thought I'd got to get in there. Now that's a pretty low bit here, isn't it? Is it low enough? Now go a bit further, Shaw. Go a bit further. You might be able to pick up a bit of wood. So there's the cottage look. This is Stoke Camp here. That I'll be coming back across later. That I was I did some videos on not long ago. I, I'll tell you what I've been doing this week. I've, it is laborious. I've been um, writing down all the video links to my family tree videos at the moment. <laughs> and some some walks that are tied up with the uh, family tree. I've also been um, doing the video links and then I add it to the tree, you see. And then if people want to see the video, say for example of a, a church where the ancestors got married, bur buried and all that, they can, link, they can click on the video link and they can see a, a video I've done of the church. This is very useful for those people that live in other countries that don't get to see. Look how muddy that is there. Oh, that's hell of a muddy, isn't it? I'll be in there later. That's where that big round pit place is. Meanwhile, I've got to try and get over this. And it goes, it's going right round the field actually. I'm going to get hold of a stick in a minute to hold the, the wire down while I get over. So I'm going to pick up a stick, quite a strong one. See, there's one there. I don't want to get electrocuted, so. If I have a stick, I can lean it on the wire without getting a shock. Looks higher up there, doesn't it? Um, this looks like a good place. Here, you put the stick on, like that, and then you can climb over. Ready? So I put it on there. One, two, three. I'm not doing any damage. And then there. I'm not done, done any damage. So from now on, you're protected from the cows. See, because this will all be tied up to electricity if they might have not done it yet. That might not be live yet. But I'm not going to risk it. But they're getting ready for when they put the cows out. So there's the cottage, folks. The beautiful cottage that's so picturesque so photogenic. Now they've put this wire up for a reason, haven't they, to protect... Well, to let this bit of land recover as well. It's very squashed up. Um, but that's what you do. If you want to get over, you need something wooden. Your stick is okay as long as you don't touch it. Because it is metal, don't forget. So there's all my lovely fields coming up, folks. I can't see a cow yet. No. We're on schedule. We're on schedule. It's very boggy here, mind. It's always been boggy around the stiles. 
even in the summer it can be, but this will recover by keeping the cows off for a while. So there we are, I've got the little cops. And we you can now walk. You'd have to climb over that tree safely around this field without having to engage in cows. So I'm just going to put the camera up there. I'm going to be heading straight across for that stile over there. Not a cow in sight. Sheila, on the 25th of February 2022, on the West Mendit Way, Pretty's over there, Pretty Barrows are right in sight, Cheddar's behind, and I'll be going through the camps, Westbury Camp and Stoke Camp, on the way back. I'm doing a circular. I'm covering the fields that normally you can't go in but if they're going to do this for the walkers if they're going to do this then in many ways this these fields will still be open now this field here does occasionally have cows in it wine I'll just do a little bit of video going across the fields so you can get and right in the distance is the pretty barrows that's a walk I intend doing they have cows up there, mine, but you can avoid them. I'll have a trip one day, which will be a Wells trip. And what I'll do, I'll do Wells Cathedral. Then I'll walk out. I won't come back to Cheddar. I won't be doing a long walk. I'll come back to... Um, I'll come back to Wells and get the bus back. I'm looking out for cows and I can't see any. I'm sure they put some out the other day in a field. <coughs> now, of course, I was caught out once before. Um, because it's, um, what's deceiving for people? Because it's um, a walkway, a public walkway, uh, a well-known walkway, the West Mendit Way, people think you're going to be okay. You know, but if, if you're in a herd, if you're in a field with cows, it don't matter what walkway you're on. Right? So the stile's coming up. And beyond the stile, we've got the pretty barrows. I'm just going to take a picture of this. I'm turning off for a minute. Right, now, three weeks, four weeks ago, I did come across this stile as well. I came across these fields. It wasn't until I got back there that I decided to go and have a look at the Stoke camp. And since then, two weeks ago, I was over there on the, the hill forts. I spent the day out there doing that and I really enjoyed it. The first time I went on there, three weeks, four weeks ago, it was, I came from Westbury sub and I walked in thick mist. It did clear as I walked along. There was thick mud. I was plastered in mud that day because the fields further down they have big herds and they really churn up the fields. But um, I think they're probably going to let the grass grow <coughs> a little bit more in here before they have the cows back. There will be cows here. That's evidence of cow just a couple of months ago there. Pitted. If the pack is pitted that means <coughs> it's more than more than um, a month ago. I think they were out quite late but obviously they, they knew the storms were coming. I knew that. And here's a lovely, lovely big stone style on the West Mendit Way in Somerset going towards Pretty with the Pretty Barrows, the ancient Neolithic Barrows ahead. 
the Neolithics would have stood there. Of course, it wouldn't have been fields like this, would it? But they could have been out hunting here for deer and stuff. Rabbits. Right, we'll assess the ground. Very muddy, not too bad. We'll get over and then we'll see what we're going to do. Over and out a minute. Right, here I am then. There's a little lane over there. Little lane over there. All you've got to do is look for the next stile. It's right ahead again, I think. Now it's not this field. It's not this field. I don't think it's the next field. It's the one after where I got chased. I'm so happy to be able to do this, you know. Um, now they haven't they haven't put any fencing up around this one, so possibly this one they're not gonna put cows in. So and it might be just be that farmer who decided to do that. <sighs> Straight ahead to style. Straight ahead. It looks like the I don't know if it's that one with the post or the one further over. Yeah, I'll be climbing over. This is where I got lost as well a few years ago. Coming the other way, towards this way. I never got in this field. I got lost in the mist. All the walls look the same in thick mist. Uh, even though I thought I'd pointed myself in the right direction. I've said about this before. No. I ended up by those trees just beyond that wall going that way round. In humpy bumpy ground. Fortunately, the lane saved me on that occasion. But I wasn't threatened by the cows. They were absolutely curious as to what I was doing there in thick mist. Now, right over there on the hill is the Westbury Camp Hut, the radar place used in World War II up to the Cold War of the 50s. That is also a Neolithic settlement and Bronze Age barrow. Looking back to the cottage now, looking very photogenic, so I'm going to stop again and take a picture of it. Very photogenic. There'll be all sorts of walkers who will take pictures of that and take it home with them. It's a landmark, really, that. It's a feature that you'll remember on your walk across these fields. Of course, I've always wanted to walk these in the summer, which I, which I tried doing that day. In fact... <sighs> I think I was successful. I just took so many risks that day, really. Um, which I don't do anymore. I will come out here when the cows aren't out. That just saves all the issues. It doesn't mean I don't enter fields with cows. I really make sure they're as far away from me as possible. And I always look for the exits. Escape routes, always. I have taken risks since, so I must admit I have. After a long walk over by Robert Warren and Shipham, I had to go across this field. It was getting late. I had to get a bus from Winscombe. And I had to pass this one herd. They were spread out all over. But there was a hedge splitting, splitting them. Some on one side of the hedge, some on the other. And there was just like five or six black bullocks, I suppose they were. 
they didn't approach me, they just stared at me. And what I did, I walked briskly with my stick. I just sort of said, yeah, I'm getting by, getting by. And they just totally ignored me. Now, once I got over the stile, they came up to me and I spoke to them. And I said, thank you for letting me through your field. I thanked them. I actually like, like them. I always like cows. Cattle. Yeah, always have. So there we are, folks. We'll be over there later on the return trip. It's got to be done now. Here we go then, another stile. And then I'll be going across there and entering another field, which is where I was chased. Surrounded almost over and out.